you want to be a hawker? No. <laughs> Why not? Um, uh, I have other ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> Me, hawker, no, no. I don't think I could take the life. No, uh, the long hours, no. Uh, not really. I prefer to eat. <laughs> the truth is hard to swallow. Younger Singaporeans simply do not want to be hawkers. The hours are long, the work conditions thankless. So how can we preserve the culture, heritage and authenticity of hawker food? Razor TV takes to the streets to ask Singaporeans how we can preserve our hawker fare. We need to value the hawkers that really put their energy and effort into doing the cook. And how do we do that as people? It's very simple. I mean, if they do a good dish... And if they want to charge a little bit more for it, we should be we should be happy to pay for it. I mean, if the hawker has uh, the heart to go and uh, use fresh pork instead of frozen pork, and he sources out all the best spices, you know, and he puts in the effort to really make it really really special, then I think that we should recognize the effort and reward them, you know, as uh, as what they deserve. I don't mind becoming a hawker if I can make twenty thirty thousand dollars a month doing hawker food. Even those who can't cook will try to learn how to cook and become a hawker. However, there are those who feel that the onus is on younger Singaporeans to keep our food heritage alive. I don't think there is any way unless they take pride in what their parents, their generation before them are doing. You should listen to how they started the business, how you are being brought up. It's because of this business we are being brought up the way we are. So since young, we have been in this business already, like helping out part-time, during weekends, so the, if the parents don't let them uh, have some hands-on with the business, then they won't have any feelings to the business also. If we really want to keep Singapore hawker food alive for many years to come, everyone has to play their part. Customers need to reward good hawkers, schools should start teaching their students some tricks of the hawker trade, and hawkers or chefs should be passionate about whipping up dishes while celebrating our nation's culinary tradition. There are few or no shortcuts. No matter what may come my way.